Hey gems, welcome back to my channel. Um, I don't know if this video will be posted here on this channel, which is Baby Ticket 23, or posted over on Pink Couture Life. Either channel was posted on. I hope you guys love this look. It's very simple, very easy. Something that anybody I think could do, just with a little practice. It does take practice with liners and glitters and stuff like that. Um, this look was inspired by this um, kind of like my headscarf and um, I was just kind of feeling blue and green colors today. So I found this glitter right here and this one is um, Peacock from LA Colors Glitter. Um, like I said, I hope you guys enjoy this look. I Just something fun to create. Added lashes, pop color on my cheeks, nudie, colored lips. Just really, really simple. Um, I will have a picture, a couple pictures posted um, in the beginning. Also, if you guys seen the banner in the beginning, this is part of Pink Couture Live. I just kind of wanted to share what I do on that channel over here. I do want to thank you guys for watching um, when I do post videos over on Pink Couture Live. So this video may be in two places. So you can either watch it over at Pink Couture Life and show me some support over there. Or you can watch it here. It doesn't matter. You probably see it here before you see it on Pink Couture Live. Um, it also will be linked on their website. So I'll put their link, their site down below so you can check it out. We have an awesome team of girls. I love working with them. I love the site and everything like that. So I hope you guys like it. It's just something that's all about women to help you know wellness and healthiness and makeup and fashion and hair and you can find all that sources at one location which is absolutely great um i hope you guys um are doing well i am just really happy to be able to do this look for you guys i have not been able to do makeup tutorials all week i really i just haven't felt like it and so today i got inspired and i wanted to do this look um it's very simple very easy but i hope you guys love it I will see you guys in another video. Um, I do have hair information about this. Um, about this, I do have information in this video about this hair, um, and I also have a couple informations about glitters. I used only like two shadows and stuff like that, and this tutorial is basically a talk through. So I hope you guys enjoy. It. And like I always say, guys, it's not about how much it costs; it's how you apply it. So keep doing your thing and stay beauty delicious. Bye, gems. Okay guys, so let's get started. This look is super easy, super simple, as you can see. Just something that you can wear. If you're a person who does not like a lot of makeup, you know, you can definitely do this. So let's go ahead and get started. Basically, you're going to take um, a base or a primer or whatever you want to use. Today, I decided to use my paint pot in groundwork. Um... I just basically put that onto my lid up to my brow bone. Um, I stopped like a little bit before where I applied concealer to conceal my brows. So we're going to take our first shadow and go ahead and lay that down. And you can use whatever brush you want. I'm just going to use a fluffy brush. And this brush right here is from Diane Brill. And the color I'm laying down, I'm sorry, um, it's called Texture. And as you can see, I have a little bit of pan pouring going on because I really love this color and it's a color that is definitely very close to my skin tone. We are going to take this brown all the way up to right before where I put my um, concealer. Okay. Once you have that done, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to use, I'm using an eyeliner. You can use any eyeliner of your choice, but the one I'm using is from Kiss, Kiss New York and it is called Dead Sexy Pen Liner. Love this thing. Um, it's just a big like jumbo marker kind of and we're going to wing out our eyeliner. The wing is on you, whatever you want to do. If you want it thin, big, whatever. I want my wing a little bit chunky on the out part. And I have hooded lids so I have to work on my wing. As you go in, you're going to want the line to be a little bit thinner and closer to your lash line. Or anything like that. So once you're done, it should look something like that. 
the next step to this look is to do something very simple very easy um you're gonna want some glitter some whatever you want to use whatever color you don't have to use this color um I've got these glitters from my local beauty supply store. I've seen um, a couple people do these. Um, I will have a review on these. I think I want to like maybe get like a couple more colors before hand, but I have do have one other color. And this color right here, um, I don't know if it has the name. It's called Peacock actually. Um, and then it's from Glitter and it's from LA Colors. And I'm absolutely loving this color right now. Um... So you're just going to take it. It has a, a little brush on it. It's not one of those stiff brushes. It's one of those bendable little brushes. And you're going to follow the black line basically that you made with the eyeliner. And you're going to apply this to the top. And I start in the middle and work my way out. Just like I did with my wing because you're going to just keep following the shape I don't know if you guys can see that or not and Now, if you have to go back over your black line, go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to give this time to dry and um, maybe perhaps perfect my black liner a little bit. And I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, now once you have that how you want it, we're going to do one more step. And with shadow, we're going to take one more shadow. And this one we're going to take right here is a dark brown. It's the one I use to contour with and I believe it's called Brown Down. You're going to take that on a crease brush. I'm just using a regular little elf crease brush. And for me, I have hooded lids, so I always have to find, out, figure out where my crease is. And I usually start a little bit above where I have this fold in my eye. Right where my eye socket is, literally, pretty much, before my crease, after, um, like after my crease, or before my crease, whichever way you want to say it is where I'm gonna put this brown okay and I'm going to blend it upward but very softly you don't wanna you don't wanna go too harsh you just want enough to give you like a deeper crease area I want I'm going to take some black eyeliner I'm using Urban Decay's 24 glide on pencil and zero gonna add mascara I'm using covergirl's lash blast length Okay, Jim, so I'm back and I did something super quick and easy for foundation. All I did was add a little bit of light, light, light coverage of BB cream, not a whole lot. Um, and this one is the Maybelline Dream Fresh one. And on top of that, to set everything, I used my MAC Studio Fix Powder in N9. I'm going to use my Elamasca blush and this one is in Tweak. The color looks like that. Very hot pink. And I'm going to use my Mali Beauty blush brush I wanted to give my face a pop of color since I'm gonna go nude for the lips I decided and this blush is very pretty for women of color okay so that's my blush i really like this blush so for lips i wanted to keep it simple i've already moisturized my lips and everything like that so i'm gonna keep my lips super super simple and i'm gonna use a mac cream sheen glass and this one is called strictly plutonic it's like a nudie brown color
So a very nudie brown color, but with a great shine. I love the color payoff on this. And this is the finished look. And I really hope you guys enjoy. I will try to have pictures inserted. The hair that I have on is called Lace Jennifer from Sensational. She is a human hair unit. Um, I just curled her with the curling wand, added a scarf today. Um, just doing any, nothing around the house, just chilling. So I just tied the scarf on the side. Um, I sprayed some hairspray in her just to give her a little bit of volume. And it's kind of one of those like messy looks, um, whatever. So if you guys want to happen to see a tutorial on how I tie the scarf like this and how I curl the hair with the curling wand, just leave the comment down below. Um, and again, follow me on Instagram and I will see you guys in another video. Mwah. Bye, gems.